this machine gets a lot of neglect and we're going to start by cleaning it up because it's just a mess of shavings and garbage here. Metal shavings everywhere. There's metal shavings here. There's metal shavings there. All over through here. All these metal shavings were coated in coolant and then the coolant dries on the machine and the metal rusts and the machine rusts and it's just quickly reducing the life of the saw. All of this metal shavings should get cleaned up at the end of every day and even several times throughout the day if you're doing a lot of metal cutting. It should never be left like this. And that includes getting the metal shavings out of these troughs where the water runs off and recirculates, but it needs to be kept cleaner than it is. So we're gonna start by doing that. We can get a chip brush of some kind. These are really cheap disposable paint brushes. We usually use these at the drill press to keep the drill press table clean and they are great for keeping this clean. Look at that, all these shavings just brush away. You can see where some of it has built up and left rust marks already. And I've only had this machine for a year. And this is what happens with neglectful use of it. We'll take some photos of these back sides where all this rust is building up. Really, really bad neglect. Get all these metal shavings off of here. And we can vacuum it out as well when we're all done. So all this stuff has to go. All these metal shavings will also interfere with the ability for the machine to do its miter cuts and rotate to those miter positions. This one's a little different than the other machines, and I'll go over this again when I go through the features of it. It's got a lock lever here. Pull the lock lever, release it. This vise stays put. It's only the head of the saw that pivots. I think the saw needs some lubrication on this part so it can slide a little bit better. All the water and liquid and coolant has rusted it and made it not a happy thing. What we don't want to do is come out here with a wire brush and scrape off all the paint, make this rust worse. We could come up with a plastic scraper or something and try and scrape off some of the crusty bits and then we're going to vacuum it out. I don't have a plastic scraper, so I'm going to gently use a metal scraper and scrape some of this rust buildup off. Where all that buildup has happened, and in here. Scrape some of this out. That's where it likes to build up the most. And back here. We're going to get the shop back and vacuum out as much of that metal residue as possible. There's some metal residue back here as well. It's not sucking up. All right, that's better. That's the way we want it. We always want to leave it that way. Clean all that off at the end of every single day, especially with this tool. You can't let it, let it pile up. You can let sawdust pile up because it's not gonna rust your tool, but all of this residue is going to rust and ruin and deteriorate the tool.
Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more technical theater content. Thank you.